Welcome to Indie Resources' third video on C Sharp. This is Halls of Valhalla. Um, now let's let's do something. Let's, let's add a little more to this where we're at. Um, so we've we shown where we can actually create a class, and we we can create a method inside that class, and we can call it from other classes. The next thing let's do let, let let's make this kind of a real world example, and, and I'm not going to make it a complicated real world example, and I'm not going to go too much into it, but I want us to be able to, I want to be able to, the one thing I can't stand in some tutorials is the, you know, using integers as number one and number two and then trying to, it's just not real world very much, especially not in the game style. So I want to make everything kind of game style. So let's, let's do this. Let's, let's say that, um, let's create another method and we'll, we'll call it, um, attack. So before we can type attack, it's only going to be built once. There's only one type of attack, so we're going to call it. We're going to name it static. We are going to be able. I want to be able to call it from the program. So I'm going to do static public, and this time we're going to return an integer. So I'm going to do integer, and I'm going to call it attack. Here we go. And if you know, whoops, that was a mistake. Oops, cancel. Um, let's get this right. Okay, if you notice, I'm getting a red here. I'm getting an error. It says, tutorial print title attack, not all co code pass return a value. The reason why it tells you that is because we're saying, hey, I'm, I'm returning an integer, but we're not actually returning an integer. So for a default, just for now, let's return zero. And now the error will go away. If we go over here to program and we do print title, and now when you hit dot, you now have attack as the method that you can pull. We can call it, but the thing is, what is it doing? Well, this is returning an integer, it's returning zero, but we're not doing anything with that zero. All we're doing is calling it, the zero isn't going anywhere. So we need to give it a, we need to make that zero mean something. So let's create a, let's create a variable integer, and we'll call it attack number equals print title dot attack so now when it returns zero or whatever it returns attack number is going to accept it so if we do a I don't want to do that just yet because we have this console going so right after show title shows we're now going to assign attack number whatever this method returns so I'm showing you two types of methods here of, of how they work, and let's actually get into this before I explain any more. And you know, I may make a couple mistakes here as um, um, as we go along, but we'll fix them as we go along. So l let's keep our return equaling zero, and let's create an integer, and we'll call it player. Whoops, player attack equals five, and then let's create another integer, and we'll call it creature defense equals three. Player is a little, little tougher than our um, creature. And if you notice it's saying player attack is assigned but its value but is never used. It'll still build with that. It's just telling you, hey, you, you got this variable sitting out here and it's not doing anything. Well, we're going to do something with it. So let's create a new integer and we're going to call it final attack equals player attack minus creature defense so now you notice everything goes away we're actually using them now so what we're doing is we're taking 5 minus 3 should equal 2 so now what do we do with it well let's return it back to the main so what we're going to do is we're just going to return final attack and what that's going to do is that should return 2 into attack number. Now if we hit play right now nothing's going to happen other than the show title because all we're doing is making putting that integer in there. So, and I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to start with the easy way first. Um, let's just go ahead and do a console dot read line. I'm sorry, write line. Start before that. Write line and let's do attack number so it, it prints out that variable. Um, and then of course if we do it's we gotta be able to read the key, otherwise it's just gonna keep going. So let's do console.read key. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, 
for get your parentheses. And let's see if we, we should get the title from here where it just says hello, welcome to welcome into resource community, and then we should get it too. There's but if you remember we're waiting on a read key, so as soon as we hit read key, here comes our two. And so we know that's working. And the reason why I did that was in title of show title it said read key. If I was to delete that read key right there, which we can go ahead and uh, let's, let's just leave it. But if I was to delete it, then it would show that in a two. The reason why I did these two first is because this shows you two different types of methods on how you can use methods. The first one, you call the method, and it does whatever it's supposed to do inside of it, and, and it actually prints something out to the screen. We we made this print title a void because it doesn't return anything. We made it static because it's it's only built once. There's only one type of show title. There's not there's not a million different types. Now, if I had a show title for every creature in the game, it wouldn't be static because we'd have a lot of them. It's public so that other classes um, and other methods can actually read it. If it was private, only methods inside of here could read it. Um, then we have our second type of method, which we use to assign a number. So we call the method. We did some fun we did some work inside here and we had it return this number and it actually returned it into this variable that can be used inside your main program and we wrote it to the screen. So the two different types and we're starting out really simple just so you can kinda understand it. Things kinda click a little bit. Um and like I said, we're gonna start out slow because these are the main main things we're going after here. The other thing let's go ahead and do let's 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 do something now let's let's go to a little bit opposite direction let's say we don't want to do a right line right from our main program let's let's call another function let's and let's create a brand new class um let's call let's go back up to our tutorial let's go to add and we're going to do new item right, class and we're going to call this class um let's call it uh, attack functions. Let's do that. Once I learn how to spell. Okay, so we have a new class. It's using the same namespace, tutorial. That means anything in this namespace can, can call anything out of this class. And it's called attack functions. I'm going to take this function, or this method, and I'm going to control X to get it out of there. And I'm going to go over to program, or I'm sorry, I'm going to go over to attack functions, and I'm going to put it in here. And if you go to now to program, you're going to notice print title no longer has an attack. It's actually the other class. So we, it is actually our attack function class. Attack functions dot attack. Oops. Okay, so that kind of fixes this real quick. And basically, all I did was I just moved that method over to another class. And it kind of shows you that you know it, it, the, the actual base outline skeletal of the class, you know, the methods can be the same inside of it. So, so now let's let's go back to our main program. I want to do this, but I don't want to call my right line inside of my main program. Instead I want to put it in print title. I want to put everything that prints in print title. So let's create a new static we're going to make public and it's not going to return anything and we're going to say show attack and I am going somewhere with this I promise. Okay so we have our new show attack now, now we gotta think. Okay, if we want to get rid of all this, we need to go ahead and cut it out, and we need to put it inside of our attack. Now, if you notice, the name attack number does not exist in the current context. Well, that's because we are. Let me go back where I was. Um, <coughs> because it's 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 not being returned in other words attack number is basically being um, I'll go back to my program is actually being returned here whenever we call on it it's actually being returned in the main program and not our attack function anymore attack function knows nothing about 
this attack number here. So what do we need to do? We need to pass attack number into our show attack. So what we do is we do our print title dot show attack and here's where we can actually pass in attack number. Now if you notice it's saying there's no overload method for show attack so what that means is we've defined show attack but we've said that it doesn't accept anything there's nothing there to accept so what we need to do and you can name this actually anything you want I'm just going to name it attack number now we're defining um, now we're passing in now if you notice and this is a good point if you're used to JavaScript or whatever else you have to actually initialize that variable inside that overload method in, in so basically what I would need to do is I would need to say I want to pass an attack number and is it's an integer whether it's a string an integer whatever it may be that's what you need to, when you initialize that variable you have to say what kind of variable that is even if it's an overload method even if it's a method where you're pushing a variable into that method um, so now we have no errors let's give it a try okay hello in your resource community and we got our two back again so basically what I've done our program starts out and the first thing it does is it goes print title show title we go over to print title show title and it that's where it does our hello any resource community it does re key when that's done it comes back and it says define attack numbers an integer and we're going to call this method attack functions dot attack so we're going to go to attack functions and inside there here's our attack method it's going to initialize our two variables it's going to process the final attack, a player attack minus the creature defense, and it's going to return final attack. And our program is going to, when it returns final attack, which is two, it's going to put it inside this newly initialized variable. Then we're going to go to print title again, back to that class, go to show attack, and pass it that two. We go to our attack, or we go, I'm sorry, our print title, and inside that method we just called, we're passing it to this new integer, and we're going to write it out. So pretty simple but I'm hoping that it gives you a little better understanding of how these work, um, how the difference between how a method inside of a class works. And I'm hoping this, that I'm able to explain this properly. If not, please shoot me a note and say, I, I still don't understand and Maybe I can find another way, but I'm hoping this is a little easier than the standard one. And, and we're going to move on to the next video. We will start on a little more complicated things and do a little more explanations.